Hello there, my beautiful, lovely, talented, and intelligent internet friends. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Quite a while ago, I made a video comparing different kinds of crutches, and today I thought I would mimic a similar type of video with comparing different kinds of topical pain creams. Now, I have three of the most popular ones here in my hands today, and these are three that I actively use. So I want to compare and contrast the application methods, the ingredients, and what kind of pain they help with. There was a long period in my life where I thought all topical pain relief was just complete and total bogus. Like I didn't, I didn't even really want to try it. I mean, I did try it, but I didn't like it. It took me a while to find something that actually worked for me. So today we are going to go through and review Biofreeze, Asper Cream, and Blue Emu. I am not affiliated or partnered or being paid by any of these companies, so this is just my opinion. With that being said, if you want to give this video a thumbs up, if you want to give it a like right there or hit subscribe, I'd get us closer to the 150 mark, which is so very, so very close. That would be absolutely incredible. But no pressure, you do you. So let's talk about these actual products. These two are lidocaine based and this is menthol based. Now you may be watching this video wondering what qualifies you, Miss Footless Joe, to review pain creams. And let me tell you, if you aren't familiar with my channel, I am a baloney amputee. My leg feels okay for the most part, but it still hurts. I still have hot spots and it definitely gets sore at the end of every day. And I also have significant neck problems. I have a few compressed discs and chronic migraines, meaning I get them quite often. And I have tried so many different things. I used to be on pain medications like heavy narcotics for just about a decade. I've recently come off of all of those. And pain creams are not a fix-all for aches and pains and issues, but they definitely have helped me. And different formulas and different application types have helped me in different ways. So I wanna share a little bit of my experience with you. Now this is obviously just for my body and my experience, so I'd love to hear yours down below. Feel free to share any wisdom that you might have or any recommendations. But I have tried quite a few different kinds of pain relief creams, and I'm gonna tell you about two of my favorite. One that is not so my favorite, but it is a popular one, so I did want to include it in this video. Okay, quick side note, our neighbors are having their house renovated, which means that for weeks and weeks and months, months on end. There are large, loud trucks outside our front door every hour of the day, pretty much 7 a.m. onward. And uh, so if you've been hearing those in my videos lately, I do apologize. I try to film at times where I think they might not be there or might not be coming, but I'm usually wrong. So let's start out this review with Blue Emu, which is a lidocaine-based pain cream. So this is something that my mom brought home for me when I was first getting used to trying to wear a prosthetic leg. This was something a prosthetist had recommended to me, and so we gave it a shot. And I'll be honest, I did not have high, high hopes for this product. Previous to this, I didn't have a lot of pain creams that worked super well for me, but I tried it on my residual limb and it actually did something. It actually had a numbing effect as lidocaine does. Now, something I really like about this one in particular, and you can get it in different applicator types, is the spongy applicator. So this right here is very, very, very spongy feeling. And then you just squeeze it and the actual product comes out. This is so nice for areas of your body that really don't feel good to be touched because the spongy applicator, there's, there's very little pressure and you can still kind of spread it around the area without putting a lot of pressure and causing additional pain as you're putting on a pain cream trying to lessen the pain. There we go, pop the cap off. And right here is usually a really sore spot for me. Being able to use this spongy applicator to just sort of rub some of the cream in there. It doesn't smell weird, doesn't have like a strong odor or anything like that. And just put it right where it hurts is great. I usually wait a minute or two, let it sort of dry and settle, and then I put my leg back on. This is gonna sound like a very silly side note, but I think it actually does matter, especially if, you, if you're in pain or if you deal with any kind of muscle weakness. Getting this cap off, not the easiest thing. So you line up the arrows, right? No big deal and then you're supposed to pop it off. And sometimes I can do it real easy like that, and other times I have to struggle bust it pretty hard to get this cap off. And you do need the cap on it because otherwise this spongy applicator gets real gross. Something that always sort of weirds me out about the uh, the way that this applies to you is that like when you rub it on your skin, I'm sure there are like dead skin cells that come off with it. And then depending on how long you use this bottle, they're just sitting there. They're just sitting and accumulating for a really long time. It's nice, it's soft, it's easy, but, um, but it kind of weirds me out that it's not very, like it's hard to wash it because the hole that goes into the bottle is right there and you would just end up watering it down and that would be, that would do no one any good. So let's move on to Asper Cream. This is also lidocaine based. They both have 4% in it, but this applicator is very different. Now I do want to mention again, I think you can get any of these products in pretty much any kind of application type. So depending on what you're looking for and what's going to work for you, you can find it. This has almost like a ping pong ball on the end of it, right? 
And this is, this is hard. So if you're trying to apply this to a part of your body that has a lot of sensitivity, for instance, me, like on the scar line of my residual limb, not gonna work, does not feel good, causes active pain, not, I can't hold anything today, <laughs> not worth it. But for things like the back of my neck, where I get a lot of muscle tension and it starts to really cramp down and hurt, this is awesome because while I'm applying it, it's also like I'm getting a, a little bit of a massage because of the, the, the stiff texture. Next, we have Biofreeze, which is just your basic spray bottle. Probably shouldn't have done that. It does sting a little bit when it gets in your eyes. I, I thought it'd be cool for cinematic effect. It was not, it was not cool. So this is menthol based. This is 10.5, yes, 10.5% menthol. And it's a spray bottle, right? So this is awesome if there's a large area of your body or one that's kind of hard to get to that's in pain or you need some relief. I really like the spray bottle for the back of my neck and my shoulders. It's a pretty large area and trying to take this and like rolling it absolutely everywhere takes a minute. So this is really awesome for just fast, easy, not messy relief. Allow me to demonstrate how I use this. Always keep your eyes closed for a second as it does burn the eyeballs if you like turn directly into it. And now I smell heavily of menthol and it's glorious. I've gotten quite adjusted to the scent. I almost think that like the smell, like the smell of menthol, I associate with a little bit of pain relief. So I'm always like, mmm, that, that, that's nice. I also like that you don't have to touch it. I have tried pain creams before that you like put on your hands and you rub in. I don't like that my, my hands end up feeling, you know, numb or tingly or whatever the sensation is as well. So I like that all three of these are, are hands-free ways of applying a pain relief cream. I think I've been calling them pain creams. These are meant to relieve your pain, not cause more. And they do a decently effective job. So I've tried all of these products on the different parts of my body that commonly are in pain. Those being the back of my neck, my shoulders, and my residual limb. And I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt that this one is the big winner for residual limb pain. If I have to put on my prosthetic and it's really tender or I'm just having a bad day and it hurts, this is, this is awesome for providing just enough numbing that I can like get through the day. And it's really nice because it's very localized. Like I said, there's the spongy tip there, which is fantastic for applying to areas that are already kind of hurting anyways. I'm a big fan of Biofreeze, but spraying that on my residual limb and then trying to put on my prosthesis over that, this makes things feel very weird and tingly and then my limb is in there feeling cold and weird and tingly instead of just having pain relief so for me kind of the nerve based pain or sort of the more like tender point pain not a big fan of this one however I always have a bottle of this nearby because for my neck this is an absolute miracle bottle. I love Biofreeze. I would highly recommend it to anyone. I was very skeptical, like I said, of any pain relief creams for quite some time. And as I've experimented around with them more and used some of them more consistently, I've realized, okay, this does do something for my neck, not so much for my limb. This does do something for my limb, not so much for my neck. And this right here, even though it has the same ingredients as this one, don't ask me how this works, this does almost nothing. Um, I keep it in my car because it's an easy bottle to keep in my car. It's not gonna explode like this could from the heat. And this application point right here is, is nice to be able to like feel that massage sensation down the sides of my neck. But the actual cream itself, I don't feel like does a whole lot. Like this bottle is almost empty because I took it on a road trip a long time ago, but I, I, don't, I don't love it. However, one thing that is fantastic about it is there's basically no smell to it. Biofreeze, on the other hand, absolutely drenches you in menthol. So you like reek of mint. If you are sensitive to mint or if anyone around you is sensitive to mint, this is gonna be a bad day. I would not recommend it. Uh, I always feel bad when I put it on because th the smell is so overwhelming. And if Brian's nearby me, he's like, oh, that's, that's, a, that's a lot of mint. That's a lot of mint. And it is, but it also works really well. Are mint and menthol the same thing? I should have looked this up before filming this video. Let me know if you know. I feel like they are, or they're a similar thing because they smell very similar, but I don't know. If you're trying to decide between Blue Emu and Asper Cream, I would highly recommend Blue Emu. I felt almost immediate relief using this. I've also tried it in a roller form. And I don't know, maybe it's just me. Let me know if you've had a similar experience, but I feel like Asper Cream doesn't do anything for me and Blue Emu, I actually feel that numbing, which is awesome. So in any given day, you'll find me with this and this pretty nearby and that's nowhere to be found. It's really just there as an absolute last resort backup. Creams like these are not inexpensive. Like buying a bottle of this, I think, 
presently online is like, I don't know, like $16. It's, it's not cheap, but they do last a while and I, I find them really effective in not having to take pain medication so much. I was using these before I got off my pain medications and it kind of helped to ease the transition. Now, these are not like taking narcotics, obviously. Um, the pain relief is, is nowhere near, but I do find that it helps. And the great thing is that these are all over the counter. They're all in my local drugstore. They're probably in yours depending on where you are. So if you search pain relief cream on Amazon or somewhere like that, you will get so many different brands offering so many different things. I think that's really cool. I'd like to go through and like try some of the more obscure ones. Let me know if you'd like to see that video, like trying obscure pain relief creams and seeing if they do anything. What's really popular right now is CBD based pain relievers. I have tried those before in the past and they didn't do like anything for me. Just in general, CBD and I, we're, we're decent friends. I like taking it sometimes before bed, but aside from that, it doesn't really do a whole lot for me and topically did just about nothing. So I would be open to trying that again because it has been a couple years since I tried any kind of topical CBD oil. Do you hear those squeak breaks? That's just all day long, which is fine. I'm not complaining, but also if they could get their house renovation done in the near future, I would be very happy for filming audio purposes. I'm curious, what kind of pain relief creams or sprays or applicators or whatever it might be have you tried? Have you found them effective? Have you found them to be a complete and total waste of money and a scam? Are there any that you would highly recommend above different kinds of ones for different kinds of pain? I'll be going through the comment section responding, letting you know if I've tried it as well. And let me know if you wanna see another video going into like a more in-depth review of a bunch of different ones, maybe like five or 10 or something like that. More obscure off of Amazon ones, because that sounds like a safe experiment. As I said at the beginning, if you feel like giving this video a thumbs up, it helps to get out to more people, which is fantastic. And if you want to hit that subscribe button, it would almost get us to 150,000 subscribers, which is so close and so cool. And I'm really grateful for each and every one of you who is here watching this video, who's ever watched any of my videos. Thank you. And to my patrons over on Patreon, Thank you for the continued support that you give me. It means the world to me. If you're interested, Patreon is a platform where you can support your favorite creators and get some perks in return, like early access videos and Patreon only little videos. I just did one uh, introducing my two new little rats. Their names are Sprinkles and Skittles and they are sweet, sweet ladies and are good cage mates for Sally. So check out that video on Patreon if you're interested. Link is on screen or down below in the description and to you watching this video. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes out of your day here with me today, learning about different kinds of pain cream and if I like them or if I don't, I appreciate your time. You could be anywhere in the world doing anything and you chose to hang out with me for a few minutes and I really appreciate that. I love you guys. I'm thinking about you and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys. Have you heard from the sky?